Hello YouTube, my name is Joe from the band Thorns of the Forsaken. Now here is my first video uh, talking to you guys about uh, what it's like being in a one-man band. I put together a couple things that both rock and suck about being in a one-man band. This video will go over all the things that rock. Number 5. Complete Musical Control. Now there's something to be said for jamming with friends and once everyone gets in that groove, you know, it, the music just starts flowing and everything. But a lot of times in the band setting, your personal vision can get outweighed or outvoted by other people of the band. And although for the most part that is a good thing, because let's face it, some of our ideas really suck. I like having my personal vision come to life, especially when there's not a lot of people around who like my genre of music, or at least who can play it. Number four, play with a click and no one complains. This is big for me. Now, recording, you gotta have a click. A click is almost essential if you want it to be nice, tight, and professional. Live, sure, I mean, you have your drummer, as long as he or she can keep the beat, that's fine. But I like playing with a click live. Now, although you can get away with it live, in the studio it's essential. I've had musicians in bands I was recording with even go as far to say, turn that off when I start the click so that they can record. It is infuriating, especially when they turn around saying that they're the metronome and then proceed to play the most inconsistent rhythm Ever. Especially in a one-man band setting when you're playing with a backing track, click is absolutely essential and I like not hearing complaints about it. Number three, the entire band is always on time for practice. If you've been in a band, you know not everyone takes it as seriously as they should. Me, with a previous band, I had to load all my gear into my truck. It's a lot drive an hour across town, unload my stuff when I got there, get set up, and some of the people who lived close wouldn't be there yet. Then they'd waltz in an hour or two past our starting time, and then we'd maybe get a solid four hours of decent practicing in before they went somewhere else doing their own thing. So that really rocks about being the only person in the band. When I want to go to practice, I get up out of bed, walk to my computer, turn on the software, and it's practice time. Now, I also don't have everybody else texting me saying, where the heck are you? Why aren't you at practice? To push me to practice. But I think I can deal with that. Number two, no splitting cash. Now, I mean, no one wants to split their cash, of course, but when you're just starting out playing some local clubs and don't really have a huge following yet, that 50, 100 bucks, if that, split across five people, it doesn't really go very far. So you're left with maybe you can buy yourself and your girlfriend something at the bar, or you're lucky to get fast food on the way home, or just enough gas to get you home. Being in a one-man band, All the cash goes and uh, 50 to 100 bucks, you know, that's most of a tank of gas on the low end or a full tank of gas and a nice dinner date at a real restaurant, not McDonald's. And the number one thing that absolutely rocks about being in a one man band no drama. Drama, drama, drama. From girlfriends who meddle in band affairs to ridiculous egos that are way inflated beyond the popularity of the band at the time to differences in musical opinions that get ugly from time to time, drama just sucks. And it really does hinder the creative process when you're dealing with something else instead of focusing on music. In fact, the only drama I really deal with is me getting really pissed off that I broke a string and I forgot to order a replacement set. So there you have it. My top five things 
that I think absolutely rock about being in a one-man band. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you liked my video, be sure to hit the like button over here, and be sure to subscribe, too, so that you don't miss any new videos. Have a good one, and rock out.